Hey guys, welcome to Zero Day Code. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we create a wallpaper app from scratch using Expo. So before showing that, uh, we just go with the, like what we are going to create in this video. So you can see a uh, different images. So if I click on one image, so it will open uh, on the new screen. There's a different option called download. And if you click on this icon, then we have a different multiple option called home screen, lock screen, and both. If I click on both, so it will set the wallpaper to the uh, like home screen and the lock screen. So it's loading. Just wait for a few seconds. So uh, it's loading. So you can see a toast on the top. Wallpaper successfully set. Okay. Now. Let us see on the code level, like how we can create this app. Okay, so before, like uh, for the development purpose, I'm using Expo. So with the guy who don't know what is Expo, so Expo is just a CLI, which is like easy to configuration for your app. Oh, okay. Before moving that code, I will also provide this repository link on the board on the description box, so you can check out the code and and don't forget to start this repository. That will be really helpful for me. Okay. Now let us go with the code. Like what oh, is happening? Oh. So for the you know, so set the wallpaper. I'm using called Ajay Bharti React Native Wallpaper Manager. And for the icons, we I'm using vector icons. And for the part, like I'm using bottom seat, Revit React Native, Native Navigation Native Stack, Expo, Expo Dev Client, Expo Fastness, Status Bar, Pixels, and one more thing. So we are using a Pixels API. Okay, so that's why I install pixels. I will uh, uh like how the backend data is coming. So, so basically, we are using pixels, pixels provider API. Okay, and we have a like different packages. Let's go through the code. So, what is happening? So, if I call app.js, okay, so I've added like gesture handler root view from the React Native gesture handler that that is just for you know a swiper. Okay, now uh, so we can see a navigation container. So navigation container basically I'm added the routing basically and we have a call status bar and let's go on the wallpaper navigation. So if I click on wallpaper navigation, there's a navigation. So it will open in uh if I go on the source and there's a call navigation file and wallpaper navigation. So I have a uh, like I set to a screen. The first one is called like uh like I set up the you know cons stack is equal to create a stack navigator. I import as a create stack navigator from React Navigation native stack, and I will import it to a screen, detail screen, and category tab. Okay, so first, like you know, initial routing name is category tab, and so I define the name category tab like stack dot screen. I define the component name and component and options. Or what will be a title, and our next component is called detail component, where I just you know a title will be null and headers will be false. Okay. Now let's see on the what is happening on category tab, which is imported. So if I go on the category tab, so you know there's a we are using a different uh, what is it? A different tab. So for the tab, I'm using a, a package called Tab Navigation React Native Tab View. So basically, this help uh, this package help us to uh, create different tab. Okay. Now uh, I define like you know I make a function called category tab. And it's like you know, uh, we have set the tab bar, okay, or uh, render tab bar, tab view. So we are like you know, we have added the tab bar, okay. And uh, like if you go with the you know documentation, so you can understand like what is happening under the hood. So basically, on the tab bar, we have like you know imported a different a uh, scene. So uh, the first tab is called the trending tab. So if I go on the trending tab, what is happening on the trending tab? Uh, we have a, like you know array of images is loading set loading height width and I've added the create client from the there okay now I'm making API call get images to so get images like you know I'm using the client like client comes from the uh, uh pxs package okay so get images const get images is equal to a const query I'm making a query call android well pepper so it will like uh, gives the result like uh, array of images and Whatever the image is already there, I'm splitting that image and setting the like new photos. Okay. So this is happening, and there is a catch block. So we also call fetch more function. So uh, like you know that is loading more funds like that will load more data. Okay, and set page so on, and and what else is happening? Uh, 
uh, we have a call is loading link whenever is loading true then we are showing activity indi indicator okay whenever the data is coming so we are rendering a component called image card component if i go on the image card component we are using like uh, showing uh, activity indicator activity indicator until the image is rendered okay and whenever the image is rendered we are using expo fast image so it will store the image as a catch and render that image okay this is happening okay so this is all about the you know from the one tab to uh, a data space okay from one like how the image is rendering here if i show you again uh, where is my app sorry just hold on one second i just opened the app mm, yeah this is so you know uh, we have a different uh, tab so this is the logic of how the image is rendered and how it is the coming okay now let's just talk about the retail space how we have a, like showing the images okay uh so if i go on the like we have a call screen goal data okay before showing that uh before showing that i go with the this one what we say okay we have a call image card component so if i go on the image card component again so we are like we have a function like on click button on click on press so we are navigating these details we are navigation dot navigate to the details page and passing the data as the on the navigate okay now go go on the uh, details page so we have a call uh, screen and we have a call details dot js so you can see what i'm doing uh, i'm writing that uh, item from the params the router params item uh, it will give the item and from the item i'm uh, destructing the source and id okay so this is how like you know passing the data from params and ready here and what we are doing so with the wallpaper rep dot current dot okay wallpaper manager dot set wallpaper help us to set the wallpaper so this is so straightforward i think you should go with the code okay before uh, moving this you can like what you have to do you have to just clone this repository go on the pixels dot uh, pixels dot com and uh, like use this API, you like make a developer's account, use this credential, and start creating your app and publish it on the Play Store. So before, like you know, I I already published this app on the Play Store, so you can check out this and uh, recommend like you know give a try how it's looking. So if I click on this, so this is my uh, Play Console account. So you can see I will also provide this uh, link on the uh, on the description box, so you can check out once. This is all about thanks, man. If you have if you have any query, let me know. That will be really helpful.